Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you? Today is the first episode of Care to Share Showcase. I know you guys have been waiting for this, and I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to get it together, but you know, life happens. <laughs> So today is the first episode. I am so excited. I have a few people to show off today and uh, wow, I, I've been really impressed with the pictures that have been coming in. Um, it, there's some really great makes out there. Uh, gets my creative juices going, so to speak, um, when I look at this stuff because I think, wow, okay, I want to make that and that and that and that. <laughs> So, so let's get going. I'm hoping that this is going to work out uh, with my editing and everything. So bear with me. I will get it together. <laughs> so, okay. First off, we are going to start off with Nancy. I have my computer here, but I'm going to be putting the pictures up so that you can see them. Um, I'm going to be looking at my computer to look at the pictures as well. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start off with Nancy. Now, Nancy sent these and she, um, she was saying the baby blankets are her signature gift to all new moms and dads and our coworkers as, uh, that are coworkers of hers. Um, I absolutely love the first picture. The color scheme is, is very neutral. Um, and it can be used for a boy or a girl. And I, I just love the, I, I don't know what stitch she used. Does she say what stitch she used? No, she didn't say which stitch she should, she used. So Nancy, um, comment down below and let me know what stitch that is, because that is really pretty, really pretty. She says that she also makes hats for the homeless and uh, sells dish scrubbies and hair scrubbies uh, to buy socks for the homeless as well. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. The second picture is also of a baby blanket that Nancy did. I just love these colors. I, they're very aquatic colors. Uh, I think that would look beautiful in any baby's room. The next is um, from Deborah, and her channel, her her YouTube channel is Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Now, this first picture that came up, I absolutely love this. Um, I believe she said it was a bag a day. Yeah, she says uh, the first item that she finished is a bag of day tutorial called easy crochet top she used lion brand summer kiss in quartz uh, i just love this it's such a nice beautiful summery kind of top the second picture that she i'm i'm assuming that this is deborah uh, is showing this gorgeous orange um, uh, what is it called? A shawlette? Shawlette? Is that what it's called? Um, it looks gorgeous with her skirt. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, oh, the poncho. It's a poncho. Beaded poncho. Oh, this is the beaded poncho that Ladybird Loves did. Uh, she had people making these. I, I opted out because using beads with yarn is not something that I'm able to do. <laughs> Just not good that way. Okay, the next person, um, her name is, is Anita. And I'm telling you right now, her these pictures that she sent me blew my mind absolutely blew my mind the first picture is um of a amigurumi and she, I, this is really cool it's a voodoo doll and uh it's i, I mean it's got this cute quality to it <laughs> 
the next pictures she sent me uh, is a pattern that came on off wrap, excuse me, off Ravelry. It's a gothic skull pattern by Alexis Six, Sixel. I will put that link down below. Um, it's a skull pillow and it is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. The way that she incorporated the skulls with the mosaic, I think is just astounding. Now, I mean, I can't do mosaic for my life, but I mean, I love the look. The next picture is also uh, of the mosaic. And I, it's like those colors are awesome. Absolutely awesome. The next blanket, I, I look at this blanket and I think of Zelda um, <laughs> because she loves everything Jack. This is Jack's skeleton um, and it's a blanket. I mean, wow, what a beautiful blanket. It looks like they're all like squares that she sewed together. Um, let me see what she says here. She says, I'm proud of this because I absolutely hate sewing things together and joining squares. Hey, I hear you, sister. Uh, the squares with the faces, I had to crochet the eyes individually and sew each eye onto the white circles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And then I had to embroider all the faces on. Wow. Wow. She says, this made a mess of knots and things. Uh, on the back of the blanket. So I crocheted more white circles and sewed them on the back of the blanket to hide the mess of knots. Wow, like double and triple the amount of work on this blanket. The next picture, I absolutely love this. This is Miko's Yeti. Uh, the pattern is by Anita Plantico. Plantico. I'll leave that link down below as well. Um, he's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Look at the feet and the toes. I mean, seriously, how cute is that? The next picture is, everybody knows this top by now. This is the Summer Breeze by Cinnamon Stitches. Um, it's beautiful. I love the color. She says she made this with Cotton King Swirls. Uh, deluxe in the color blue moon. Uh, she says that she's proud of this because she doesn't usually make garments. You know what, girl, you did a great job, a great job, and it looks fantastic on you. The next set of pictures, if you don't know this girl, um, you need to hop over to her channel. This is Christy from Hook Me Up Crochet with Christy. I will leave her link down below. Um, she has a bunch of beautiful cowls here. Um, and I think there are, some of them are knitted. Oh, I, I just love the way knit looks. I know Madonna don't, don't yell at me, but you know what? It's just absolutely, they're all absolutely gorgeous. I always liked the way, like the different color schemes that Christy does on her channel. I mean, they're absolutely stunning. So go over to Christy's channel and do all the things, subscribe, like, and all that. And uh, keep an eye on her because she really comes up with a lot of cool stuff. Okay, the next one is Carletta. I love this blanket. A friend of mine did a blanket that was similar. Uh, I was going to do it with her. I started the blanket and I failed. <laughs> um, Carletta has um, put on some, a few things that I haven't seen on the blanket, like the little um octopi and 
uh, what does she, she say here? This is the Sand and Sea Afghan from Dana's Wonderlust Crochet. Uh, hers has the turtles and starfish. I added the whales and jellyfish. I made this using Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And the appliques are using scrap yarns. Okay, the next pictures are from Louise. Um, and she sent me a few pictures of baby blankets. I, I'm assuming these are baby blankets. I shouldn't assume, but they're gorgeous. The next picture is of um, baby dresses. Oh, I just love these colors. The next one is of a handkerchief scarf. I've made a few of those in my time. The next picture is of her amigurumi. I just, I think these are adorable. Why does this remind me of the Muppets? <laughs> it's like this, a scene of Muppets. That's so cute. This next picture cracked me up. Uh, for a dish or a behind, just not at the same time. <laughs> That is adorable. I love that. I may have to use that. <laughs> the next one is a, a mosaic purse or, um, or satchel. I just love the detail that went into this. The next one is a, a starfish blanket. Oh, so pretty. So there you have it, guys. Um, first episode. Uh, I just absolutely loved these. It just, it sparked something in me uh, to say, I want to try and make something outside of my comfort zone. Mosaic will not be one of them, I'm sure. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I absolutely love seeing the pictures. So continue to send me your makes and I will showcase them. Um, I, I'm just so thrilled that the first episode started with such wonderful makes. Um, so congratulations to all of you on a great job. So um, thanks for joining me and stay tuned for another episode. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.